Surveillance video shows the 18 wheeler pull into a stall. The driver, Bobby Calhoun, gets out. And according to his interview with Brookshire police, that's when he realized he had hit Smithers. Truck drivers. Hear me! Can I have your attention? <laughs> What's good, everybody, and welcome back. Welcome back to the Lockout Men Podcast Show, everybody. That's what's up, what's up? How y'all feel out there? Lockout Men Podcast Show, where the best conversation starts over here. My cousin in the background, Ryan Ruth. That's what's up. We are here. We are back with another trucker reaction video. Yes, sir. Uh, shout out to my man, D Nitty. He was the one that sent me this particular video that we're going to look at today. A sad situation that happened at a, I think it was a Flying J pilot, Flying J truck stop. Man, oh man, you know, guys, you you really have to pay attention to uh, to what you're doing. Period. Period. You you, you I, I I understand it's kind of hard to pay attention, and in this particular video, in this article, this news article, uh, it's unfortunate that a driver ran over a pedestrian in the truck stop unfortunately the pedestrian was uh was just going to work that's all he was doing he, he he was going to work he was getting up in the morning and um and he just was just going to work that's it. Nothing more, nothing less. Uh, he walked through the pilot truck stop and the unthinkable happened. He, um, he unfortunately was ran over by a truck, by a semi. Um, the driver that was driving the truck, um, said that he didn't see him. He didn't, he didn't notice that he ran over somebody until he got out of the truck and noticed it. The gentleman that he ran over was Reginald Reggie Smith, 56 years old. Um, he was hit back on September 3rd of 2021 um, when he walked across the Flying J parking lot in Brookshire. Um, again, like I said, he was hit by the semi and he was dragged 65 yards. Now me and the me me and D Nitty, we was talking about this and we were saying that how could you not know that you hit something? A dump go dump or something. Something. You had to know that you hit something. <sighs> Unfortunately, the driver said it was too dark. He didn't know. He didn't see anything. Maybe he thought he ran over a pothole. Uh, let's go to the article. Yeah, we're talking about the Flying J in Brookshire, a busy truck stop no matter the time of day. This incident, now the subject of a lawsuit filed here in Harris County, happened around 4.30 in the morning, and the victim was just trying to go to work. When he introduced us, he would always tell everybody that he had 11 children. Reggie Smithers was proud of his big family. 
Five girls, six boys, and many grandchildren. His daughters smile when they remember him. Always smiling, always smiling, always happy. The 56-year-old died a terrible death. It's as bad as I've ever seen in my life. He was alive. He knew what was happening to him. On September 3rd, Smithers was hit and dragged 65 yards by an 18-wheeler as he walked in the parking lot of the Flying J truck stop in Brookshire. It was where he caught his ride to work every morning. Surveillance video shows the 18-wheeler pull into a stall. The driver, Bobby Calhoun, gets out. And according to his interview with Brookshire police, that's when he realized he had hit Smithers. I just turned around and I walked in the front of the truck and turned around and we disbelieved. Mm-hmm. He didn't say anything or when he just... No, he was moaning. Oh, I'm like, oh my God, how you get up under there? Yeah, and then he... And I said, don't move. He then got back into the truck and backed up. By the time police arrived, Smithers was dead. Calhoun was very cooperative. According to the police reports, they don't believe he was impaired. Smithers' family points to another issue. I just hope that they just get better lighting, lighting and put up some signs so it won't happen again. And that's why they are now suing the truck stop. They believe better lighting and signage for pedestrians in this busy parking lot could have prevented the death. Mm-hmm. Calhoun raised a concern about it in his interview. You know, you stop. You got to stop. It's dark in that area. Very dark. Sadly, he has since died. This 18-wheeler driver was handicapped by a lack of lighting coming into the into the parking lot. Flying J did not respond to ABC 13's request for comment. The attorney for the trucking company, PBH Priority Express, who is also named in the lawsuit, did not respond either. Smithers' family and their attorney say the truck stop has since added a light at the entrance. They say they wish it had been there sooner. I just wanted justice for my dad. Jessica Willie, ABC 13 Eyewitness News. Wow. Unbelievable. But stuff like, I, I, I don't say stuff like that happened, but stuff like that can happen. You know, a lot of these truck stops really, really don't have good lighting at all. But as me and D Nitty talked about this, we still don't understand how the truck driver couldn't know that he ran over somebody and look at the drag mark right there oh my god but as you guys could see in the surveillance video that's about to come up he 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 was coming in there a little bit too fast don't you think don't you think he was coming in there a little bit too fast so he must have turned up into the driveway Snatched the guy and did not know that he had somebody up under the truck until after he got out of the truck. And the way he got out of the truck kind of made me think that he knew he hit something. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm looking at this all wrong. Let's see. Okay. So, right there, right there, he, right there. So, I don't know if he, I don't know. I don't know, guys. I mean, what do you think? I mean, he was coming in there a little bit too fast, don't you think? And then the way he got out of the truck and went in front and then come back around to, you know, to the uh to his truck kind of made me think that he had to know that he hit something right oh my god oh my god oh my god what's gonna happen well i'm fortunate uh, that you know pilot is being um being sued and including the trucking company and the in the lawsuit so of course this truck driver, unfortunately, I don't believe they're going to keep him on. Um, they're probably might going to be more, you know, more investigation. 
if anything, uh, they they probably might be looking for more footage, maybe from truck drivers that have dash cams that probably saw the saw the incident on the way in. Um, unfortunately, now pilot decide to put up a light that maybe should have been up there prior. But, you know, drivers, this, this, especially for the new drivers, this, this is what you going to have to pay attention to. You know, you're going to have to slow down in these truck stops, man. It's, it's a lot of you guys, a lot of you guys that just drive way too fast in the truck stop. I understand that your time is running out and you're trying to get that last spot and everything but really you you gotta you gotta you gotta slow down and especially in a dark area you gotta you gotta take your time you gotta take your time <laughs> um it was unfortunate that this happened to this uh young man with 11 kids and a lot of grandkids rest in peace but again this this you know D. Nitty said it wasn't a coincidence. He went to a pilot, uh, I think that was in VA, where a young lady was ran over in a truck stop. And then I did a video probably about a couple of years ago where a kid was ran over in a truck stop. So you guys got to slow down, man. You got to slow down. Surveillance video shows the 18 wheeler pull into a stall. The driver, Bobby Calhoun, gets out. And according to his interview with Brookshire police, that's when he realized he had hit Smithers. I just turned around and I walked from the front of the truck and turned around and would disbelieve. Mm -hmm. He didn't say anything or when he was just. No, he was moaning. Oh, I'm like, oh my God, how you get up under there? Yeah. And, he... and I said, don't move. He then got.